Good morning and welcome to another day of learning with Miss Tia. Today is, oh, what is today? Oh, Wednesday, April 15. Now I need you to help me find the number 15. What does the number 15 look like? All right, I'm going to show you a couple numbers and you tell me yes or no. All right, let's see. Oh, is this one a number 15? No, that's not a 15. You're right, that's a number 16. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? All right, let's try another one. How about, ooh, I know this one here. Is that a number 15? No, it has a five in it. What number needs to be in the front? Oh, a number one. This says 25, doesn't it? It needs to have a one and then a five to make 15. All right, oh, I think I got it. Is that the number 15? Yeah, we got it, finally. All right, number 15. All right, so we are going to hmm, tap our shoulders. Ready? We're in a 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Did you stop at 15? I hope you did. All right, good job. All right, today we're going to do some, all right, let's get started. Good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning to, who's out there? Mason, hi Mason, good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning to you. Good morning to, hi Ethan, Ethan, good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning to Addison, hi Addison, good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning to you. Good morning to, who else is out there today? Kaya, good morning to you. All right, thank you for joining us today. Now, if you would like to take a moment and stop the video, um, I put a link at the bottom of the video today um, for um, a syllables worksheet. If you would like to print out, um, you can. You don't have to, but if you would like to, you can. Okay? All right. All right. So today we're well. This week we're talking about the letter H. H. So words that begin with the letter H. Now you might be thinking of some at home. Let's see if you can guess some of the ones that I'm thinking of. Um, I'm thinking about something that bunnies might do. Or maybe if you're playing, um, you could do this on one leg. Maybe if you're playing hopscotch. Oh, I said part of the word. <gasps> hop. Very good. You might hop like a bunny, or you might hop on one leg if you're playing hopscotch. How about another one? You need a big ring, and you move like this. You shake your hips, and you try to keep that ring from falling down on the ground. There's a hula hoop. Hula hoop starts with the letter H. Man, I can't do the hula hoop. But some of you I know, you can do very good with those. All right, what about if um, I need something from the teacher and I raise my hand, I'm asking for, or maybe you're at home and you might ask for something because you need, can't quite reach. You might ask mom or dad or a big sister to help, help you, right? Help you. Sometimes we all need a little bit of help, okay? What about um, another word for really big? So another word for really big, huge or humongous is another word for really big. So something that is really big, you might say um, that is a huge donut. Oh my goodness, a really huge donut or a huge pile of leaves that you want to jump in. Something really big, okay? All right, good job. Alright, so we're going to be working with syllables today. So you might be asking, what is a syllable? 
So a syllable is a natural break in a word. And it happens to be kind of like where you chop up the word, like if you're a robot, or when you put your hand on your under your mouth every time you say like a vowel. Um, I'll give you some examples. Your, your mouth goes open like robot, okay? Uh, so we're going to do some clapping. And so I want you to clap at home when you hear um, the word, okay? So cat, only one. Sunset, two. Alphabet. Three. Tractor has two. Okay? So it's the natural pattern um, where the word breaks apart. And it's good to be able to hear that they, how you um, break the word apart. That way you can be able to spell it as well, help you spell it. Okay? So you can clap it out. Now if you put your hand underneath your chin here, and when you say ray d o, every time your mouth goes open, Come to that when your chin goes down, you are doing a new syllable. Okay, so let's try ow, pa, bet. Did you see my mouth go down? Each time it went down, I put my fingers up without counting each syllable. Okay, tra, tor, two, tra, tor, see, two. All right, let's try some more. All right, so I have, um, little chart here that we're going to do for some syllables. And so I have one, two, three, and four syllable words. Um, now parents, if you want, I'm going to put the link for this in um, underneath the, uh, the YouTube, <laughs> YouTube video and there will be a little link that you can print this out if you'd like at home. So you get the little sheet here and you get the little squares as well with the, the words on it that they can um, just match them up when they hear them and it also comes with a direction sheet um, which I believe is here somewhere <clears throat> it's a great website um, I'll put the website in there as well it's fcrr.org which is Florida Center for Research uh, Reading Research um, I use it all the time in my classroom, uh, which they have VPK stuff as well. I've used it in fourth and fifth grade too. So they give you um, a sheet here for how to use it as well. So it gives you directions. And if you look at the top, I know this doesn't really mean anything to you, but it has the benchmarks on here. So it is something that they're learning in school. Um, these are VPK benchmarks, but you can also go and look at um, all the way up through fifth grade. You can find stuff, activities. So if you have an older kid, that is maybe in second, third, fourth. Uh, you can you can also um, look on stuff, look at activities for them as well. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do some syllables here. So we're gonna clap them out, or you can put your hand underneath your chin. Every time your chin goes down, that means a new syllable. Okay. So we're gonna try this first one here. Microscope. Ready? Let's clap. We'll do both. Microscope. My scope three syllables so I'm going to put that under the one that says three so I'm going to attach that on there because it has three syllables now why is this important well it's important that you know that you can hear the different sounds in the word and when you can hear the different sounds it's going to help you to be able to um, sound out the words so you can spell them and it's also good um, good practice Okay. All right. So microscope. All right. Let's try another one. How about the word ice? Ready? Ice. Ice. My chin only went down once. I only clapped one time. So it goes under my number one. Under number one. Ice. Ice is so nice to have on a hot day, isn't it? Keep your food cold or your drink cold. Your ice cream. All right, let's try another one. How about basketball? Basketball, where is that going to go? Ready? Basketball. 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 Should be three, right? Basketball. All right, did you count three? All right, then put this under my number three. Okay, basketball. So three has now two of them. So basketball there. 
Here we go. All right, let's try another one. How about the word dragon? Dragon. You ready? You want to clap it out? Dragon. Two. Let's see if we do it with the chin. Put your hand underneath your chin. Dragon. Two. Good job. So there's two ways you can check it. Um, or you could even talk like a robot. Uh, that's another way. How many say two? All right. So let me put my <laughs> sorry. Let me put my dragon under the two there. So um, if you talk like a robot, robots kind of drag things out. So they go, I am a robot. Okay. So if you talk like a robot, it would also help you be able to figure out the um, the patterns in the words as well too. All right, let's try another one. How about the word foot? Foot. Now, this is a foot, which means one. If it was feet, then there would be two on there, right? Feet means more than one, and foot means only one. Okay, we'll talk about those in another video. So, foot. Ready? Foot. Foot. Okay, so only one in that one. So, I put that one in my one column. Okay, so I put that in my one column here. I have foot and ice in the one. All right, we don't have any fours yet. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try next one. How about the shape triangle? Triangle, ready? I'm gonna clap it out. Triangle. How many did you get? Just count three. Let's do it with our chin, ready? Triangle. Three, good job. So remember, every time your chin goes down, that means it's a new syllable, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put this triangle we said was three. So I put this in my three column here. Hey, we still don't have any with four yet. Let's see if I can find one that has four. Ooh, something you might eat in a hot summer day. Some watermelon, ready? We're gonna clap it out. Watermelon. Ooh, does that have four? Let's try it again, right? With our chin, watermelon. Lawn. Watermelon. Four. Watermelon. Hey, I kind of sounded like a robot there, didn't I? Watermelon. <laughs> it's fun to talk like a robot sometimes. Then you can try to move like a robot. Ready? Watermelon. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. So we have, here we go. So we have two of them in our one syllable. One of them that is two syllables, three with three syllables, and one with four syllables. All right, let's see what else we have here. How about the word ladder? Ladder, ready? Ladder. Ladder. Two. Okay? So we're going to put that in our two columns. Now, if you have been able to print this out, those of you that have a printer at home that you might be able to print this out and you can finish up the rest of the syllables there's uh, two four six eight uh, nine more left that you can fill in where they go and that'd be a nice activity for you or if you don't, didn't weren't able to print it out that's okay too you can always find things around your house and try to figure out how many syllables they have so let's see how about I have my trusty block so I have a block. So let's count that one out. Block. Block has one. Ready? With the chin. Block. One. Okay? So that would go, I could even make my chart with my one and put my block on there. So you don't have to have the pictures. You can find things around your house. Make your column one, two, three, and four. And just go around your house and find some things um, that you can try to figure out how many syllables they have of them. Remember. Oh, excuse me. Remember, it's important that you're able to hear the different sounds in the word, which is going to be able to prepare you for reading and writing. Very important. All right, so let me try another one I have. So I have a marker, which I'm sure you guys have some markers at home. So marker, let's see how many syllables. Ready? We're going to clap it out. Marker. Marker. Two. So this would go in my, so I have my block in my one, and my marker would be in my two. Okay, let's see if we can find something else. What about, hmm, um, oh, here we go. 
scissors. You might have some of these at home. Scissors. Ooh, that sounds, sounds complicated. Ready? Scissors. Scissors. Ready? Scissors. So it's two for scissors. So that'd be another. So again, you can just go around your house um, and find some, or if you're able to print the worksheet out, you can do that too. Something that you can do at home. Um, I'll put these in um, at the end of the video as well so that you can uh, look it up later. Okay? All right. Thank you. So I'm going to show you a pattern just like we used when um, used our blocks and our cars. We're going to make a pattern but with little animals. So let's take a look at the first pattern here. So we have a dog, a frog, a frog, and a dog. What's going to come next in our pattern? So how many different items or things do we have in this pattern? We have a dog, so that's one, a frog, and that's two. Is there any other animals in this pattern? No. So would I say, oh, a pig is going to be next? No, I would not say a pig is going to be next because there's no pig in my pattern. Okay, so it goes dog, frog, frog, dog. Okay, so what are going to be my next two things here? So dog, frog, frog, dog, and it should be, what comes after dog should be a frog. And then what should be next? How many frogs do we have in a row? Two frogs in a row. So it should be frog, frog, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it down so you can write yours as well, okay? So now you may not have the animals like I do, and that's okay, but you do have um, crayons and markers and pencils that you can use to write your pattern, okay? And it's good to be able to figure out what the beginning sound is of each of the words as well. So, what I'm going to do on my paper here, or my board, you have your paper. So, my first one is a dog. So I'm going to write d, d, what letter? A D. So I'm going to go D for dog. And then what's my next one? F frog. Starts with an F. So F. And how many frogs do I have in a row? Two frogs. So I'm going to make another F. And what comes after my frog? Would be dog. So another D. And then we put our two frogs would be next. So F and F. Okay? So you made a pattern. So this is only has two different um, animals in it. So a dog and a frog. So we have dog, frog, frog, dog, frog, frog. Okay, you make it into like a little song. Alright, so what would come after the frog if we were to continue this pattern? Remember, a pattern repeats itself. It keeps going and going and going until something stops it, right? So it would keep on repeating. So dog, frog, frog, dog, frog, frog. What would come next? Hopefully you're saying dog. So we'd write a letter D here at the end for dog, okay? Now, if you would like to try to sound out the word as a challenge, you certainly can. I would love to see that. Um, that would be so fantastic. If you try to sound out the words, d -a -g, okay? So each one of these letters, remember, letters make sounds, and when you put them together, you make words. Now you have to put them in the correct order for it to make the correct word, okay? So d -a -g, okay? So the first letter is a D, d -a -a -a. do you remember which letter makes the a, 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 like octopus? Would be an O. And then the last letter is g, 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 dog, g, g, g is a G, okay? So if you read each letter, d, a, g, you can sound out the word and make the word yourself. Dog, d, a, g, dog, okay? Very good. All right, let's try another pattern. I'm going to erase this because I don't have much room here. We'll leave that one on the top there. All right, so let's do our next pattern. How many animals do you see in this pattern? So what is my first one? A pig. Very good. Pig starts with the letter 
P, 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 P. So you could write a letter P down. The next animal is a cow. C -c cow starts with the letter C. And then we have a horse, which is our letter of the week. H, H for horse. And then the last one is P, P, Pig. So how many different animals do we have? We do have one, two, three, four animals on there, but only three of them are different because the first one and the last one are pigs, so they equal the same one. Okay, so we have one, two, three different animals, okay? So we go pig, cow, horse, pig, bum, bum. What am I letting next to? Am I going to say a turtle? When I say a turtle comes in this, in this pattern? No, because there's no turtles here. We only have a pig, a cow, and a horse. And then we start over again. So what would be next? I think I hear you, some of you saying it. A cow comes after the pig. So pig, cow, pig, cow. What comes after the cow? Now remember, you can be writing this down, the letters, to represent your pattern, okay? So in here, let me go ahead and write with you. So first we have a pig, so p p pig. Then we have c c cow. And then we have a horse. So this one we're using three different things to make our pattern, okay? This one we use two. This one we're using three. So pig, cow, horse, pig, cow, and what is going to be our last one? Horse. Very good. So there's our pattern there. Okay. So I need to put a horse. Where's my horsey? Here he is. Nay! Alright, so the horse is on my next one here. All right, so he's last. So there we go. Pig, cow, horse. Pig, cow, horse. Okay, now we've done two patterns. Not so hard, right, once you get the hang of it. All right, let's try another one. Let's see. Ooh, here we go. How about this one here? Okay, how many different animals are we going to be using here? We have a cat and a bird. All right, do we have any other animals on there? Yes, we do, but they're the same ones, right? We have cat and a cat and then three birds in the middle. So only two different things here. So we go cat, bird, 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 cat. Okay, so remember, you have to put the same amount. So if I, now we already talked about not adding something that's not here. So I wouldn't say duck would be next because there's no duck in the pattern. But if I'm going to repeat the pattern, I have to make sure I add the same amount. So if there's three birds, I need to add three birds, okay? All right, so cat, bird, 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 cat. Now it only has two spaces here, but we're going to add three what? B, b, bird, okay? So on your paper for cat, we're going to go C for cat. Then we're going to make three B's. Bird. I'll make a lowercase b. Bird. And bird. Okay? And then next is cat. So that means what comes after cat should be our three B's, right? For bird. So bird, bird, and bird. Alright? So, cat. Hey, we did some at words. Do you remember that? C at. Do you think you can write the word cat? So you can sound it out. C at. Three letters in there. Do you hear those three sounds? C for C. A a a is that letter A. And the last sound t t t t t. So it's very important that you're able to hear the different sounds in the word. Because then you can start sounding out words and start to be able to read um, and also write the words. When you want something to say, you can start writing your own words. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's do the next one. Oh, I didn't put mine. <coughs> B. 
bird. Bird and bird. There we go. All right. So cat, bird, 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 cat, bird, bird, and then we have one more bird at the end. Okay. <coughs> We're gonna do one more pattern. Uh, let's do. All right, let's do one with turtles, cows, and dogs. So we have three in this pattern as well. So we have one, two, three different animals. So t t turtle would be a letter T. C c cow is our C. D d dog would be a letter D. Okay. Alright, so uh, let me go ahead and erase my paper here. <coughs> okay, alright, so we have t t turtle, so T. We have a cow, two dogs, and then we start back over at turtle, okay? So what is going to be, what are my next two letters going to be, or animals? So turtle, cow, dog, dog, turtle, cow, dog, dog, okay? So let me find a cow, my little moo cow. Alright, here's my moo cow. And then what comes after cow? Dog. Where's my dog? Here he is. There's my doggie. All right. Here we go. And we've completed our pattern. Okay. So you can use anything you like to make a pattern. It doesn't. It can be numbers. It can be letters. It can be objects. It can be animals, colors. Anything can make a pattern. So when you go into kindergarten and they say, "Hey, I'm going to give you um, some color blocks." Can you make a pattern? You should be able to say, yeah, I can make a pattern. And then you can make it anyway, just like we did here with our animals. Or maybe they even give you animals. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed um, making some patterns with me and sounding out some words. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you really liked the video. And um, remember, if you want to take pictures of stuff that you're writing, I'd love to see your work at home. Uh, of your writing or your patterns that you're doing, just put them in the Bayside Discovery Center uh, website there with the, where the video is and just leave your comments there. Make sure you say hi, Miss Tia. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.